Aspartame is a common sweetener used in popular soft drinks as well as in other products like chewing gum. While the World Health Organization's cancer agency is likely to give a warning over its use, South Korean authorities say the country's average consumption is below levels of concern but will independently review and release guidelines. Ian Jin has the details. The International Agency for Research on Cancer is the World Health Organization's cancer research arm, and the global health body is preparing to declare aspartame as being possibly carcinogenic to humans. Another WHO expert committee, the joint FAO-WHO Expert Committee on Food Additives, is set to update its risk assessment exercise on aspartame, including the reviewing of the acceptable daily intake and dietary exposure assessment, which will be made available on July 14th. The evaluations from the two bodies are complementary. The IARC will assess the potential carcinogenic effect of aspartame, while the JECFA will update its risk assessment, including a review of the acceptable daily intake. The artificial sweetener that's known to be about 200 times sweeter than sugar, aspartame was first approved by the U.S. FDA back in 1974. An evaluation by the JECFA in 1981 determined its acceptable daily intake to be under 40 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. The IARC has, up to now, never evaluated aspartame. However, the current review may yield results of potential carcinogenic effects. And depending on the findings, consumers, food companies, retailers and restaurants may need to decide whether to fight back or find alternatives. Meanwhile, the South Korean Ministry of Food and Drug Safety said it would release and analyze the effects of aspartame, saying that IARC rulings do not always have an absolute impact on domestic standards. According to a 2019 report from the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety, the average per-person consumption level of aspartame in South Korea is 0.12 percent of the acceptable daily intake. But health experts and authorities will wait for the final report by the global organization set to be released on July 14th before taking the next step. Ian Jin, Arirang News.